Hi and welcome to ISBI. In this project I'm gonna make the ultimate space saving router bit cabinet with transparent doors, a storage unit for the router bits which gives a nice overview, a storage unit for all the crack insert rings and some storage space for accessories. In this video I'm gonna make the basic cabinet and the router bit storage unit. This is my router table. The cabinet should be near the router table. I think this is the perfect spot to mount it on the wall. I disassemble the shelf and measure the space that I have for my cabinet. Then I cut the frame parts for my cabinet to the proper size. Here I rough cut the shelf board and the back wall. Then I cut the shelf board to the proper size, because it's just more accurate with the table saw fence. I cut the rabbit on all frame parts so the back wall can be glued in. Then I cut out the rest of the rabbit with the chisel. I lay out the frame parts to measure what size the back wall should have and then I cut it to these dimensions. Here I test fit the back wall. To positioning the shelf parts I cut dados in the frame parts. Before I glue up the whole thing, I test fit all the cabinet parts. I decide to use dowels to glue up the cabinet, so I drill these holes with a dowel chick. Thank you. 
finally it was time to glue up the cabinet. Here I glue in the shelf parts. For the router bit holders I cut two stripes out of beech wood. I cut a chamfer on one side and cut it to the right length on the mitre saw. Then I cut, sand and drill the small wooden levers which I use for the parallelogram mechanism. I drill small holes in the bit holders which are used as the pivot points for the levers. Then I assemble the mechanism to see if it works. It was a full success. The mechanism works the way it should. I disassemble the whole thing to mark and drill the holes for the router bits. I drill many holes just to be flexible with the storage of the bits.
Then I sand and oil the mechanism parts. In this way they will glide without too much friction. I mount the mechanism to the cabinet. I use just two screws from underneath, which holds the bottom bit holder in place. Here I test the mechanism. Basically it works fine, but the mechanism can fold down by itself. So I decide to use magnets to hold it in place. To mount the cabinet on the wall I used the French cleat principle. Finally I can storage all my router bits in it. I'm very pleased how it turned out. It's space saving and I have a nice overview of the bits.
In the next video I'll show you how I made the insert ring storage unit. If you don't want to miss this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Feel free to share this video and when you liked this video then you can give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See ya!